Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018. So while I'm shuffling the cards, <clears throat> I want to remind you once again guys that uh, this is just a general reading for a uh, Gemini star sign and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, um, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, their synergy in the spread as well. But at the end, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there we are to uh, you are to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your star sign for the month, specifically career and relationship, uh, there will be an extended monthly tarot reading uh, that can be purchased for $1.49, uh, again from my website, in which we are focusing um, with two spreads specifically for career and relationship development for the star sign, in this case of Gemini. So this is going to be a five card general spread for the months and the first card that we do have for you Geminis, this is going to be the four of um, the four of wands. So this is going to be November uh, for you Geminis, is going to be an important month because the four of wands is about finalizing a cycle of development. Now it's very important for me to explain you uh, what is the difference in between cycle of development and completion. <clears throat> So I would try a couple of examples. A completion is when you complete a project, is when you finalize relationship status um, or settle down relationship status, etc, etc. Finalizing in a cycle of development, it is for example when you have a plan uh, how to proceed with a certain project and you now move to the next stage where you already where you're starting to proceed with that project so this is a, a finalizing a cycle of development in other words reaching a certain um, or achieving a certain milestone which is a, a prerequisite for you to proceed on forward and further with the task at hand so that being said at the month of um, of November, you will have a, a lot to think about and a lot to attend to, especially the minor and important details, the the, the important matters which are um, uh, which are involved into your career and into relationship in the same time. But uh, the four of wands usually represents where a um, have kind of like a, a vast toils uh, are are proven to be worth it just to give you a couple of examples again you know you have uh, worked so hard to convince a client you know to purchase a certain project uh, product or to sign a contract with the company you're working at well that will be the uh, cycle of development for for you not for the project itself but for you finalizing a certain cycle of development because the client finally is going to be agreed or in relationship you are chasing a certain suitor and finally that suitor is willing you to give you chance um, <clears throat> To try dating and see how things are going to go forward. So this is a again cycle of development, moving the next step on the task at hand. And this is what to happen. This is going to be the topic for your November to uh, reach those cycles of development. And once you do so, there will be a lot of prerequisite for you to have celebrations, to enjoy your time, etc., etc. So uh, and that sh that may not be just in one field of, of your life. It could be in a multiple fronts like uh, simultaneously career and relationship. What I'm trying to say here is, is that um, your, <clears throat> uh, your development throughout um, November is going to be very, very successful Gemini's career-wise and relationship-wise. Intentions uh, that you should adopt here and as I said that this is going to this can this can be on a multiple front with the second card the two of pentacles definitely is going to be on a multiple front so intention wise you should not um, 
allow anything to drop from your platter, uh, a platter of uh, attention, if I may express myself that way. Therefore, um, no matter how little time you may think you have, or no matter how overburdened you think you are, you have to uh, give the appropriate attention and appropriate measures toward your undertakings. So, uh, if you are focused more upon your career, you should not allow your relationship to fall behind. If you are focused more upon your relationship life, you should not forget that at the end of the day, you also have to um, <clears throat> make yourself a dinner. Therefore, you know, money are important, career is important, so you should not allow your career to fall behind. Especially if you are going through a breakup, let's say, and you're feeling despondent and poignant here, um, that should not be, again, a prerequisite for you to do a, a sloppy work, a job. Just on the contrary, you should focus more on it, all right? Because the Two of Pentacles, uh, it's a, a card of juggling. It's a, a card where you cannot go with... Um, with a specific plan in the future, but you gotta face whatever and you got to fit in your daily routine and in your code of conduct, whatever difference is coming in your way, whatever new, you know, sm small and minor change, it is appearing on the horizon, is looming there from the horizon. And you have to think about again, how to fit it in your plans, in your to-go list and in your um, code of conduct. The next uh, card for you, this is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and what we do have here, that is going to be the devil card. <clears throat> so the devil card could have um, a lot of manifestation here as uh, this specific follow-up but uh in that specific sense if you if we are following these um these cards the devil card is going to make some of your fields uh that you have to attend to as i said that you should not allow anything to drop off your plate or, or of your platter here uh, the devil card is going to make some of those uh, some of those tendencies and you, you know some of those mm, toils that you have to exert and incorporate are a bit of chores. So you're going to, what I'm trying to say here is, is that you will be prone to prioritize one thing over another. <clears throat> Example, uh, you are single and you have a good job and finally you meet someone that truly you like and then that person also wants to kind of like examine you, that person also wants to give you a chance. And therefore, you're throwing more time into dating, chatting, you know, and, and basically having a good time with that person, putting your uh, and classifying your work as a chore, as a time that it is stolen from you that you can spend with that person because that person have a different hours of work. Therefore, you want to, for example, um, take um, a week off so you can spend it with with him, etc., or with her, etc., etc. So the devil card points that. I, uh, one of those um, one of those cycles that you have to bring to a certain development uh, development stage are going to be again appearing as a chores because pro probably you are a, a quite secure at that specific front and at at the same time uh, you are making a or seemingly you think that you are making a major breakthrough on another front and you are re um, reprioritizing your attention and uh, your efforts from one front to another while you have to juggle in between both all right so uh, what this card here is pointing is that it will be a challenging for you not to throw all you got into a specific direction but instead you should try to um to kind of spread it around right to um I don't know the English term here, guys, excuse me, but it's kind of like um, <clears throat> give the appropriate measures into everything that you are doing. The next card that we do have is going to be about the resources you can utilize throughout this uh, month, and we do have the Six of Swords. So this card points that you can uh, be very convincing. The power of your word is the resource that you can utilize. So how you can utilize it? Well, to be a peacemaker, 
to um, how can I place it <clears throat> to settle down wars especially uh, talking about career um, if you do have if you are in a team for example that is working on a specific project you are to reach the milestone here but in the same time there are two people in that team which are fighting uh, among one another and this is um, creating a serious predicament that it is making the, re the um, achievement of the milestone nearly impossible. Well, you can use the power of your words and to um, unite those different ideas and opinions um, <clears throat> under the banner of the common goal. So instead of having two enemies fighting each other, you do have two companions directing their aggression, if I may say it that way toward the common goal. Uh, also this card points that uh, the sense of risk is a resource that you can utilize as well realizing that in reality there is nothing you can lose and uh, the only thing that you can do with uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone here is um, only improving your personal circumstances. So kind of could be said that the fortune is on your side, sort of. And the last card that we do have for you, Gemini's, is the final outcome, and with that will be the Sun card. So, needless to say, the Sun card is one of the most positive cards in the Tarot deck. Um, it shows natural unfoldment of your situations, so you are to have naturally uh, benefits, you are to have naturally uh, happiness, you are to have naturally uh, money, should you go um, after money. As well, <clears throat> the Sun card points that um, you are to create a, a very... Um, comfortable and, and how can I say it, peaceful environment, especially social circle wise. Everybody is going to like you and everybody is going to take you as an example here of how life should be, should be led, you know. That could create a little bit of an envy among other people, but this is going to be a noble envy. People say, gosh, I wish I could have been, uh, you know, ambitious as this guy or a girl so I can, so I can reach her or his state so it's kind of like a, a noble envy it's not like you know i wish them to to fall from high places <clears throat> and also the sun is promising um how can i place it in, in, in some books you can find it that it is uh, promising lucrative opportunities you know um kind of like a, a a monetary success but uh, I don't tend to see that card in this way. I'm just saying it because this is a general reading and for those who are chasing money, this is a, a very positive side that they will be able to cash in on uh, this uh, finalization of a very important cycle should they are willing to take the risk and should they not just focus on something different here but rather being more prone to keep everything in between um, everything in the in a juggling state you know jumping from one thing to another not leaving anything to fall behind <clears throat> and uh, that being said, Gemini's, it is an excellent month uh, awaiting for you to uh, basically uh, make a step forward with your development. It's going to take a bit, of a, uh, a, a bit of courage and it's going to take a bit of a, um, you know, um, communicational skills um, and also uh, a ability to resist temptations, but ultimately is going to... Um, is going to repay off big time for you, either in your career, either in your relationship, I do suspect in both places. So that being said, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for November 2018, uh, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And again, this is just a general reading for Gemini star sign. And it was not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more, specifically career and relationship-wise, uh, you can purchase the extended monthly tarot reading for the star sign of Gemini at my website for just $1.49. 
That being said, Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.